Hello, good YouTubers of the world. All About Now is back with another video. And can I just say, I have tried to do this intro about 10 times, no joke, right? So if my enthusiasm to the opening of this video wasn't at its best, I'm keeping it 100% real with you. I've done this about 10 times. So, if you're new to my channel, you know you want to hit that subscribe button, um, turn your little notification bell on and comment down below and drop a like on this video and all that kind of thing. I really would love to talk about sneakers. I really would. I feel like I've been just introing for the past half an hour. So, let's get into Sneaker News Sunday episode 7. Whew, right. <laughs> oh God. Honestly, I feel, feel like this video's gone on forever and really we're only one minute and 20 seconds in. <laughs> okay, right. If you're unsure about what happens on Sneaker News Sunday, just to give you the lowdown, I pick roughly four sneakers that I want to talk about, whether they've just come out or whether they are coming out. I'm going to talk about them to you. Sometimes I don't actually like them, but I think they're worth talking about. These four that I've picked, I happen to really like. And yes, guys, there is another, yet another non-Nike shoe in this four. I know, it's amazing. So, Without further ado, let's get into numero uno shoe. And this shoe, I think I'm going to be pulling the trigger on this week. It is the Adidas, yes guys, I did say Adidas, Adidas Night Jogger. Now for me, this is a real beta shoe. This shoe, I, could, I can imagine living in this for a while. You know the shoe you just want to pull on where you nip to the shops or you've just got a few errands to run and for me this is one of those shoes. It is beautiful. I love the orange hits on there. I love the, um, the grey, the different layers of suede. Um, I think it's suede. Yeah, different layers of suede. Um, the mesh on there. I just think... The, the laces, the raw tongue, the sole, I love the orange sole in there, uh, orange, black and grey, and obviously it's 3M, so if you are around at night, um, then you will be seen. So I just think the, the, the different layers of, on the shoe is, they've clearly... I might be wrong, but they kind of look like they've been influenced a little bit by Off-White and the Nikes. Um, but just the orange, grey and black and obviously the white midsole. I think this is a beautiful shoe. And I think, because obviously they're releasing in um, all family sizes, I'll be able to get this for £70 because I can get in GS sizes. I like this shoe. Let me know down below what do you think of it. It to me it would be amazing to unbox for you an Adidas shoe because I haven't done that yet on this channel. And as you know, if you are a regular to this channel, you will know that I have not bought an Adidas shoe for about 15 years. I've been tempted by the retro top 10, by the rivalry. Still haven't pulled the trigger on those, but the price point of this makes it less painful <laughs> so I think I'll be picking this up this releases on April the 10th on Wednesday um, and I think I will be picking them up this colorway is beautiful so that is the first shoe now the second shoe this is one for you mums and dads out there yes if you have kids you definitely, definitely, definitely need to pick up the band Jordan 1 bread in toddler sizes. Oh yes. 
I'm not entirely sure what the size run is, but they said they're coming out in toddler sizes, so I don't know the biggest to the smallest. I'm not sure, but look at it. Oh, just look at that. Mm. This is when I am gutted that I don't have kids because I would love to own these for uh, my child or children. They, they would have, have to have these. Now, I don't have a date on it yet, but it is going to release this year. It's um, a TBC, so we don't have the date, but um, keep an eye out for it. If I get any news at any point, I will let you know. But uh, yeah, absolutely, this is a must if you've got kids. And they're obviously small kids. So that is the second shoe. Now the third shoe is the Nike and React, Nike React Element 87. And they're bringing out two different colorways, the Dusty Peach and the Moss. I really like that Moss colorway. Um, in fact, I like both of them. I think they're both nice. I mean, let me know what you think about the Element 87. Do you think that the, that's it now? They need to stop. They need to stop with all these colorways. Or do you think, you yeah, know, sod it. We have a million and one colorways in the retro um, silhouette. So why not the new? Personally, it doesn't bother me that they bring out different colorways. I think it's nice to have the different options if you haven't found a colorway that you like yet. Um, but for me, it doesn't bother me one bit. I have to say though, the only thing obviously that bothers me is the, the see-through upper. Hence why I bought this shoe, the 55. I think this, I've not worn it yet, but this is about to be in my rotation this week. So I think the, the 55 is a nice option if you don't like the see-through of the 87. They have brought out quite a lot of nice um, colorways of the 55, um, this being one. So yeah, I would say if, if you're unsure about, you know, the see-through aspect, have a look at, at the moment, there are quite a lot of 55s on the market at the minute. Um, I think they have a few left of this, but I'm not entirely sure what, what sizes they are. Um, but I do like this colour. I do like the, the olive particularly, um, or moss as they call it. Um, but these are releasing on May the 2nd for $160 which will be about £130, £140. I think they're expensive, personally. The 55s, I think these are about 100 quid, which isn't still isn't cheap, but it's a little less painful than 140 quid, whatever. If you are wanting those or like the look of those, May the 2nd for you guys. Now, the very last shoe or shoes should I say is this gonna happen right I am not entirely sure so we had the last of the off-whites this year didn't we we had what was supposed to be the last of the off-whites was it February or January could have been January the Air Max 90s in black and that desert ore which I still have on my radar now Virgil Abloh was seen the other day in a dunk low. Now they're not saying it's an, a dunk, a night dunk SB low, they're saying a dunk low. If that is the case, I have to have these. The dunk for me, not the SB dunk, the dunk was so underrated. I used to live in dunks in the early 2000s actually absolutely lived in them all the time um now they are threatening to bring out the off-white nike dunk low in three colorways as i'm going to show you now the red silver swoosh obviously with the you know the writing next next to it what looks like celtics colorway white and green 
and then you have blue and like a tangerine type colour. I am hoping to God that these will happen and it's not just a rumour and it's not just a one-off that he's had made for him because I have to have these. Preferably either one of the bottom two. Preferably the bottom one, the blue and the orange. Oh my God, I must, must get my hands on these. So the estimated release date is October this year and the retail 170, so I reckon about 140, 150 pounds. Oh, why are they doing this to me? If this, if this doesn't happen, I'll be gutted because I just love the dunk silhouette. I love it. Um, so please, yes, I hope it happens. Let me know down in the comments. What do you think of this? Do you think it will happen? Do you think it won't happen? I mean, at the moment, it seems that it is happening and they've got a release date for it. But I don't know. I never know when, I never know when, whether to trust the internet or not. I don't know. What do you think? Oh, I keep looking at this picture of the dunks. Uh, since I saw it the other day on Instagram, I was like, what? Please, God, please happen. So that concludes this week's sneaker news. But before we go, or should I say before I let you go, I do want to mention this is a little sneak preview of the preview next week week seven is it week seven or is it week eight no week seven supreme spring summer 19 yes jean paul gautier collaboration and it would seem they are doing a box logo for all you box logo fiends out there obviously i will will be bringing all that information to you on this channel we will be talking about that i'm presuming we will get a preview email on monday i will then have a look over that most likely bring you the video on tuesday hoping that we get some lookbook um releases so i can bring you the video in one uh, I, yeah i am looking forward to seeing it i have to say so if you don't know who John Paul Gaultier is, he's a fashion designer and he did actually do all the costume design for a film in the sort of late 90s called The Fifth Element with Bruce Willis. Have a look at that if you want to see some of the crazy stuff that he designed for that film. But yeah, I mean, you know, it's not my kind of fashion clothing style particularly. <laughs> Um, but I am interested to see what is released and what kind of collaboration they are doing. I probably won't be going for any of it, but we shall see. So the video will be coming probably Monday or Tuesday. I will have obviously the unboxing from week six to do, three t-shirts I got. So we'll have that to, to unbox next week. Possibly a shoe or two, maybe. We will see what happens with that as well. But thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for viewing and keeping the support going for this channel. And all about that, we'll see you on the next one. Keep it real, guys.